Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sutnuski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. In this video, you know, I'm really trying to work through the list of requests that you guys are sending to me. And by the way, thank you. I love getting requests for videos. This new request is from Teresa Walker, and she wants to see something like this. So that was pulled off Instagram, and that's a commercial for the new Bad Boys movie, and I'm old enough to remember when the first Bad Boys movie came out. I was in my 20s, not going to tell you exactly where in my 20s I was, but in my 20s. Let's go ahead, jump onto LumaFusion, and see how we can recreate this exact same effect. All right, so after you launch LumaFusion, let's go to Project Manager and begin a new project. Title it what you'd like to title it. Now, if you're using this with Instagram, don't forget Instagram is a square. So let's go down to find the square one by one. There we go. Now you're going to find a video that you're going to drop into your timeline. I'm just going to pull this one down. Do all of your color correction right up front. I'm going to bring up the brightness a little bit on this one because I'm going to crush this. Bring up the contrast a little bit. Bring down the saturation a touch. Bring down the vibrance. Ooh. I would say right about there looks good. And drop your LUT. Let me use Cinema Fade with this one. That looks good. Okay, so once you're happy with the way that your video looks, now what we're going to do is hit the plus sign and put overlay title. And we are going to drag out this title for as long as basically you want those letters to appear across your screen. So let's go ahead, make it a little longer. Double tap on the title, edit the text right here. And I think, let me put cap locks, it said buy tickets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use exactly what that used. Now the trick is to use a very, very bold font. Let's go ahead and use black. That looks good. And now we're going to make this as big, just as big until the letters meet almost the end of the screen. So what we want to do now is make the face color green. And what Oops, and now what we want to do is go to the edge color and make that white. And we're just basically going to match the look of what we had saw on Instagram. And I think the width of that white was probably right around there, around seven. That looks good. Now what we want to do is hit that again to shrink it up. Hit the plus sign and we are going to choose shape. And we are going to make the face color of the shape black. And we are going to scale this up until it covers the whole entire screen. There you go. And we'll shrink this back down. And once you've shrunk that back down, you just press and hold the three bars here and move the shape on top of your font. So now with the font, what we want to do is go to color and effects and go to the key for chroma key and hit green screen. And now we're just going to dial back some of the different values to where it looks good. That looks good to me. So now let's go to frame and fit and make sure you're all the way to the very beginning by hitting the leftmost arrow key. So what we want to do now is make the size of this pretty big. I think that looks good right there. So what we want to do is drop our very first keyframe and lock it down right there. And we are going to advance it about six seconds looks good to me. At that six second mark, what we're going to do is take the X slider, we're not going to do this by hand, and just move that X slider until The last letter meets the end of the screen. So let's look at it so far. And of course, you can always get a bigger, thicker font, but this is just the biggest, thickest font that I have right now. And of course, you guys know 
where you can go. You can go on defont.com to do a little font shopping if you want to find something else. Okay, so we're going to double click the title again, go back to frame and fit and hit the last keyframe where we were at 6.02 seconds. So after 6.02 seconds, we're going to advance about a second to 704. That looks good. So now what we want to do is blow out the letter because if you remember in the video, the letter got really big and then it just showed the rest of the underlying video. So right here, what we're going to do is expand out the T until we see the video underneath it. And we cannot do that with the size on the sliders here. You see we're about maxed out there. So what we have to do now is just use our fingers and just make it bigger and make sure that you get back to that T. Keep moving it until it's the T. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect right now. Luma Fusion is going to make it perfect. Keep moving it over until that whole T is through the video. There we go. And while we've done that, let's go back to um, color and effects and we'll go back to the chroma key because it looked like we needed to dial back the brightness range. So let's go ahead back to the main timeline and take a peek. Perfect. So thank you again for making that request. That was really fun. And listen, if you have a request for a video, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to get to it just as soon as I can. But <laughs> I have to tell you, the list is a little long, but I'm getting to them one by one by one. I'm knocking them out and getting it done. So if you have a request, leave it down there. Or if you just want to reach out and say hi, I always try to get back to you guys just as soon as I can because I really consider you guys a part of my community, my family, and I thank you so much. As a matter of fact, I got just, you know, a lot of you consistently message me and give me well wishes and say wonderful, such nice things to me. It's so heartwarming. It really is. But Today, I read a message from Tim Roberts, and he just reached out and was like, hey, you know, my wife and I are just wondering how you're doing with losing Marv, and I just thought that that was incredibly sweet, and I thank you guys so much to each and every one of you that always writes in the comment section about how you like the video and how you enjoy just watching. It's really greatly appreciated. Thank you. And by the way, I removed the acoustic panels from the wall. I didn't realize how much they deadened my key light because normally when I'm filming stuff, I have my key light at like 60% and I always film a little underexposed because that's the look that I like. Right now, my key light is at 15% and I could see on my camera, I was perfectly exposed. So I hope that this is not going to be overblown when I do my color correction and drop my LUT on there. But I didn't realize what light hogs those acoustic panels were. What a big difference they made. But anyway, this is my new studio. All nice and done up. I have to get a frame for my grandma and pop-ups photo and find some way to get the other pictures up on the wall. In time. In time. So thank you so much again for watching. And until next time, wear your sunblock.